tweet. Yo, what up, internet? Welcome to Bricks and Beer, episode twenty. Jimmy, you're supposed to open your beer. Yo, you know? <laughs> yeah. Good job. Uh, welcome back to your favorite uncut, unedited, uncensored, completely unprofessional podcast about said Lego and beer. <laughs> God damn, you're like <laughs> European and shit. Wow. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, you can click a base plate, but we fucked up, so you can click a bin. <laughs> There'll be an annotation. You can watch the other ones. Or not. Whatever. Wow, that was loud. Uh, anyway, we're not in my house. We're obviously... Where are we, Jeff? Welcome back to my garage. We're sitting in front of my mini fig wall, which even when the rest of the room is a disaster, um, it looks pretty good. It's pristine. It's pristine. Yeah. And uh, you probably know both these guys, but just in case, dude to my right, Mr. Octopunk, Mr. Jeff Cross. This is his mini fig wall. You. What's up? Monsieur? <laughs> Bonjour. How are you, Mr. I'm Jimmy good. Fortel? I'm good in you, huh? <laughs> Fucking world traveler, 6QB6. <laughs> Fucking back from the dead. Yep, Survived yep. the post-con illness. <coughs> um, oh, wait, Jimmy. Remember I was talking to you? There was, during the Iron Builder, in which Jimmy took down Andrew. Oh. There oh, was this... There bringing was, that up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There was a, a moment where I got actually I, got, I was like I was like oh shit this guy could win and it was the uh, the mechanics shop because you had oh, in the yes. I looked it up again I, yes. I went and found it today in the garbage can you had a couple of those um, paint roller pieces right. which were new and they were in there and they looked like mufflers and I was like oh crap yeah like hey. like when I saw that all right connection in your mind. There's, Ooh, there's a reason why this, Jimmy won. This, this <laughs> we, guy. We've been over this. There's a previous yeah, this, episode this where we guy. talk about this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, but yeah, this fucking guy. He, yeah. He's here. Oh, and yeah. um, fucking it's welcome always, back to always California. Always a pleasure, man. Uh, cheers, and Jeff. Thanks, thanks Jeff, Andrew. for welcome Andrew. back to the garage. Yes, yes. So let's talk about the booze uh, real quick for a second. Mm. Um, we're still in L.A. And because we're not in the bubble that is where I live... Um, I was able to find some Golden Road. Yeah. This is uh, the 329 Days of Sun Lager, because we're spoiled, and that's how many days of sun we get a year, because it's awesome. Sometimes more. Um, it's pretty good. I like it. This was really cheap. And they, they call this a tallish boy. It literally says tallish, which is all right. It's, a, it's light beer. It's lager. It's like a 4.3% beer. It helps not getting sued. Ish. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I like to use <clears throat> ish just as like a general yes. like negotiation tactic. Like I'll be there around <laughs> ten. I don't know. Ish. ish. Yeah. And you're like, well, that can mean like fucking four in the afternoon. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um. So anyway, yeah. Golden Road. They're awesome. They're in Glendale. Uh, they have a really fucking good restaurant with no parking, but it's good food. Uh, and I'm glad I got this. And then, uh, because Jimmy's here, and Jimmy is also a fucking beer drinker, and you guys maybe watched last episode, this is the Black Sand Yo. IPA, uh, it's the twin to the White Sand IPA, the $8 overpriced <laughs> version, uh, this is the normal price version, which is $5, what do you think, sir? It, it, it is really good. Yeah? I, I wish I had tried the white one. So, what, do you have any but, sort of, like, ridiculous beer nerd quotes? Uh, Does it taste like cauliflower <laughs> or pineapples or something? The same day I listened to you. No, but it's flowery. a light IPA, and I've been drinking a oh. bunch of heavy-duty IPAs. Yeah, you're a heavy-duty IPA. Yeah, dude. but it, like, some of them are way too strong. Like, like too hoppy for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's this the, one, the really danger of the IPA. Yeah, right? yeah. It's like... This one's really good. It's really good. It's, nice. I think it's a good nice. balance between the nice happy, which okay. I definitely love, and, uh, and yeah, it's a nice beer. Really nice beer. Excellent. Excellent. And because we don't discriminate, oh, yeah. it's not all about beer yeah. all the time. Yeah. Um, I'm drinking vodka and cranberry juice and yeah. the lime because I'm a girl. <laughs> Tonight, the vodka is <clears throat> blue ice. Which is the other vodka I like? Uh, you gotta, you gotta show the back oh, of that it's, bottle. It's gonna happen right now. Oh, nice! All right. The back is all textured and it looks like roots. Yeah. When I was introduced to this, I was told that actually very few vodkas are made from potatoes. It's mostly grain. So 
blue ice is potatoes, and that's more special. And it's American potato vodka. Yeah, um, and it's I remember it being mm-hmm. a little savory, but not when it's mixed with cranberry juice, so I can't really speak to that right now. Yeah. I'm also drinking water because we live in the desert, and it's important to hydrate. Hydrate's good. Especially yeah. when you were sick. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, like some people who, who got the post-con <laughs> illness. Shout yeah. out to Aileen. Um, oh, yeah. I, I tried to actually, like, hang out with Aileen earlier. I was like, yo, we're all going to hang out. Do you want to hang out? And she was like, I'm sick yet again mm-hmm. and uh, sound like a six-year-old lady. So all right. cheers to you. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better, Aileen. <laughs> um, Good con. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, we were going to fucking do this before I did my recap, and then Jimmy got the plague. <laughs> and um, Jeff and I are busy as shit and stuff. So I, I, I'm impatient as fuck. Uh, so I was just like, I'm just going to do it, whatever. So I recorded the one in my living room, which maybe you guys watched. Uh, if you didn't, that's fine. Just keep watching this. This is probably better than that. Uh, but anyway, so I did the recap, but I did just of my perspective. Both these dudes were here, and uh, I think it would actually kind of be good to maybe get you know, other opinions on this, um, especially you. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly right. because like you're, you're from the outside. Yeah. I see what you mean. Cause like you, one, you're not obviously American you don't fucking live here. Not that that's a bad thing. That sounds kind of, you just to say obvious. Here. Like I've done you, it. you sound, you sound and look exactly <laughs> like us <laughs> um, and you understand the nerd dumb, obviously. Yeah. But, uh, so like, not being to Bricks LA before, what do you think of the con just in general? Like, I think it was great. It, it, and it, for me, it was definitely interesting seeing an American con, even if it's smaller than like the big brick cons and brick world. That yeah, I probably yeah. end up going to a brick con one day. I'm pretty sure, and I really hope so. October, but, yo, October. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I had to start, you know, small, which yeah, is which yeah. is good. Cause, well, and like, you know, sometimes you get. Like, well, it's too big, I'm overwhelmed. And... Have you been to any? N- no. In France? In France, oh, in France plenty. Oh. Well, and you've been to, like, sizable cons in France, yeah, right? Yeah, in, in France, most of them are pretty big. Okay. Yeah, and so that that's why it was really interesting seeing, first, the differences between the ones I went in France. Yeah, yeah. And uh, mostly the, what is being displayed. That, okay. that was what, what, what I was really looking for, is that, okay, what do they display? Is it, like, plenty of f- trains, which I don't like much? Okay. <laughs> lots of trains in yeah, France, you, lots you of this, it's just lots and, of town and, and, like, and towns yeah. all over the place, and now here and there you can find some really, really interesting uh, uh, mocks, because space is not that big. You ha- you'll find space, but it's categorized as, okay, that's a mock. It's okay. not city, yeah. it's not town, yeah. it's not mm-hmm. train. So do you just, do the so like space is essentially like a second class citizen. It's not it's not kind viewed of the same as like kind of yeah. scale modeling, yeah. like whatever. Yeah. And, and okay. there's not that many there are there and there are some great spaces so, in France. So and, and you I, I know we I'm just gonna jump ahead a little bit. So we, we kinda talked about this when you and Laura were here about like you guys go to two big conventions, right? There's two main ones. What are those again? Yeah, the the, the, the biggest one, because there's been some new ones. Okay. Even bigger. Yeah. There's one in east of France. It's close to the German border. That, yeah. that was one of the biggest. First, because you get all the French dude, and you get a bunch of German dude. Yeah. You get some Belgian dude, so yeah, okay. everybody comes over there. What are, what are the German dudes they, like? They, 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 Is they, it all trained? They build mostly huge cathedral. Like... Fucking huge cathedral, like yeah. you know Notre Dame. Okay. Yes, okay. okay. Imagine Notre Dame. For those for those who don't speak Jimmy, that's cathedral. <laughs> uh, my bad. <laughs> what, what did I say? No, you're, you're a gentleman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got it. Cathedral. I got it. I can translate. I got it. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Huge yeah. cathedral. Okay. Yeah. So it's very it's very like German, which actually makes sense because like I've been to Germany and they fucking yeah. giant ass churches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so so like basically you went to the polar opposite of the cons you went to. Yeah. It was super small mm-hmm. and it was only full of space. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> space <laughs> was great. But you know what? I, I think it was really interesting because even other theme, especially the art uh, Okay. Uh, well, yeah. It was yeah. the actual theme, but they were a bunch of very interesting stuff. I really enjoyed that. Even if it was very uh, this, it's it, the small. weird thing the weird thing about Bricks LA the 
the theming category. So like most other, I'll say this, most other conventions, and granted I've only been to a handful of West Coast conventions, but I feel like, the, and I've watched other conventions on the internet and shit, it's pretty clean cut. Like there's the four classic themes, right? Mm -hmm. There's like mm -hmm. castle, town, space, technic. Pretty much across the board. But Bricks LA is like space, and then it's sort of like art, sculpture, mosaic, we don't know what the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's sort of like a smattering of things that don't fit into that category. Yeah. But you know what? In France, it would be like the entire town would be just like that. A mix oh, that's up. so crazy. That you won't find a space if, or a town because there's mostly town, but... Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's just, it's mostly since everyone comes from different places in France, it'd be like, this is like this, the Eastern Lug part. Okay. It's, Okay, so it's more, more it's more it's more about like geography, and yeah, homies, kind of, and whatnot, kind of. They try to not do that. That fine. so. Let me ask you this: What's what's your gang? Yeah. Like, who do you roll south. with when you go to this? Yeah, <laughs> south side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> the I get the dirty oh, south. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> um, and by dirty south, he means like white sand, perfect yeah. naked beaches, yeah. full of hot chicks. It's rich, uh, man. <laughs> Beautiful, five hundred year old buildings everywhere. Uh, awesome, awesome. But it was it was really interesting. Even if it, I thought it would be bigger, yeah, a bit yeah. bigger. But it, I, I didn't so, mind it being not that big. What? So you? What do you think of the models themselves? Did anything like jump out to you? Was there anything like fucking crazy where you were like? To me, I, I saw. I, you know what? I didn't. I didn't even check everything out. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, you guys, you guys are fucking crazy yeah. busy. Like, we, we were crazy. It's busy. but we, it's hard if you don't have the whole <laughs> couple of days. I find. Yeah, it's yeah. True. That's why yeah. we were just to Sunday, and I go, you know what? I walked by some of that shit, well, but I didn't mm -hmm. really look at it. You and know, fucking you public, go public sucks so it's, bad. It's so freaking crowded. It's like so it, is, it, it is tough because okay. you got to follow and really follow. Yeah, watch on top of shoulders. I think, and, yeah. I think that's why I like BritCon a lot because there's two private days. So the first private day right. is straight up the like everything's under construction and half-assed and like you're hanging out and, like geeking out with other AFOLs. And then that Friday. There's already been a full day of setup, so like 80% of the shit is yeah, presentable. Is nice. And then you get to walk around without children. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, the, cool. just the density. That's what blew me away. Like Because last Bricks LA in April, I had to ditch out for a big chunk of Saturday. Oh, yeah. So yeah. when Sunday you rolled around. You did get to hang out like the whole time this time. Was, I did. Dude, nice. I'm, I'm so glad you were there because. <laughs> Where the fuck was Zach and Maro? I don't know, guys. We missed you guys. Okay, Bricks LA is not going to be the first weekend of the year. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. This fucking yeah, the weekend after New Year's bullshit. That's, that's, over. Yeah, that's over. That is the whole story. Yeah, and we, yeah. we, if I've it's it's not going to be Valentine's Day, but it's not going to be the weekend after New Year's. Yeah. So like, it'll be somewhere in between those two. <laughs> yeah. Late and January, I think that's okay. Which is I think that's fine. Spot. That'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, it was I, rough where it was, uh, and, uh, and all my build stories are about that. Yeah, well, so let's let's fucking have your impressions of the con because we well, haven't well, talked to the internet about your impressions. Yet. Yes, right. <laughs> what about me, Andrew? That's the main comment I always want to leave on your post. Um, uh, I had a great time. I've been to three cons, you know, and I actually got to like I said, like last year got a little bit crazy and shanked, and uh, I just crashed here but this time. Um, well, we all crashed here last year. That's right. That's, that, yeah, the, that's right. The yeah. original Bricks LA was fucking like the the Wacklug crew sleeping in this room. That's pretty much true. Oh, not which me. is like, well, my house, everybody except my for you who has a bedroom slept in this garage. Uh, so the hotel was way nicer. <laughs> Again, like, uh, that's fine. The internet doesn't yeah. mind. Yeah, I moved it's just the chair. noise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I felt like uh, last year you were sort of in and out, but we had the whole crew that was sort of like mobbing up. And it was also, I felt like last year was like way quicker because it was like, yes, fucking get there super early. There was no setup day. Yeah, it was, it was God, the morning. Dude. We, you know, I, the, the, the good part of that story is we totally killed it anyway, but. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> so let's, let's um, talk about like one, what do you think of the con overall? Okay, and so it's sparse, right? Here's what I have. Okay, I've, I've got two cons to compare it to. One was BrickCon 2014, and Star the other one bitch. was the first. <laughs> yeah, Star Vikings for the Horde. Um, for the Horde. 
and last year's Brick Soleil. So yeah. I was basically yeah. like, hey. The first. Mm-hmm. The first time, right. So I'm, I'm my whole time was it's like, look, we have this room over here. Like last year we had this room and now we have that room and that room and that room. You know, it was all Yeah. I love yeah. it. Honestly. When you and so setup day, you didn't roll into setup day until like later. No, I had to work. I work production. We generally work till seven o'clock at night, or some people even work later. So yeah, I got to Pasadena at about eight. And at that point, it was like, when are the security guards going to tell us do we have to leave? I don't know. Shh, I'm asking Ace. And Ace is like, well, Ace is yeah. like, I'm not even going to ask the security guard. Everybody's anymore. everybody's kind of having panic attacks at that right. point. Yeah. Like, not to reveal too much behind the curtain, but like Friday night, some people were a little stressed. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Right. I was fine. I took care of fucking space. Well, you're, you're thinking about Neil. It was Neil. Neil was yeah. dying. Neil yeah. was dying. Fucking we, we shout out to Neil. Neil, um, yeah, dude. Like, yeah, I, I, Neil I, was I, on I, an airplane at this point. Oh, Neil. Neil yeah. was having a panic attack. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so like, fucking Neil's killing it. Of course, uh, he's still killing it. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm talking to Neil. He's just like thrilled that this world exists, which I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad because like. You're not alone, <laughs> homie. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good discovery. And I'm glad he didn't come away with some sort of like, I've never talked like, to those motherfuckers. They were a bunch of dicks. <laughs> yeah, right. um, which I'm, I actually kind of worry about because like at this point in the Lego game, like I'm a little bit of a season veteran and like everybody I know is kind of a season veteran. Even you. Like you're, you're fucking, you've done Iron Builder three times. That's more than, like, most a foles can, like, fucking put on their resume. So, like, mm-hmm. you're automatically in the cool club. And, like, I feel like because there's that sort of, like, thing where it's, like, I don't want to have to explain stuff. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to have to be in charge of things. And, like, quite literally at the convention, I was in charge of things. And I'm, like, fuck all of this. <laughs> and, and, like, I, I feel like it's just, it's, I worry about, like, alienating people like Neil. But then the story worked out so perfectly. Um, so... Fucking, once you know, again, shout out to Neil. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Neil. And fucking shout out to Lagola. I mean, because what you said about, in your last post about the oh, community is dude. about everybody, you know. Oh, and dude, okay, so I got to throw this out there. So the last one, I was I was a little pessimistic. I was like, one of the Sandlug homies is going to take care of Neil, right? And I'm, I'm thinking of all the Sandlug homies who are like the Sandlug homies who I grew up with in my early Eightfold days. I grew up with. Meaning like Ryan Wood. Gary McIntyre, Fredo Gonzalez, none of these fuckers go to <laughs> Sandlug meetings or actually do Lego shit anymore. And I left out one critical dude. Gary, just... Gary was at the con. It, yes. But he didn't take his shirt off. He didn't. He didn't bring bolts. So, like, Gary, Gary, he gets, on paper, he gets the credit. We'll see, Gary. You gotta come talk to me about this. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. Uh, but dude, the guy who's holding it down in San Diego, who I feel completely remiss in like not giving a shout out, fucking Matt Monster Brick. Like, oh yeah, that dude is killing it. He's fucking there all the time, and he's like, oh, I got Neil. Don't worry about it. We'll welcome him in. So, oh cool. Oh nice. Shout out to you, Monster. Um, yeah. Fucking if Neil or Monster are watching this, like you guys should hook up and go to Matt's fucking amazing house. Um. <laughs> And if Matt, you're watching this, dude, someday I'm coming to the Monster Cave and we're going to record on the shitty laptop in your amazing <laughs> Monster Cave. Um, not to give too much away, but like, it's kind of like Highlander meets <laughs> Damn. like a full man cave. Like they have painted ceilings okay. that are amazing that look like stars and it looks like bricks and then he just has weapons on all of the walls with Lego. It's the fucking most rock star shit ever. Any um, heads? You say Highlander, I think heads. There's heads all over, right? And there's just swords, and then it's it kind yeah. of... It looks a little bit Stonehenge-y. Swords is heads. Yeah, it's like... Swords implies heads. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Well, and like, Matt. Matt is a proficient martial artist, and I'm pretty sure oh, really? if a I demon broke that. in, he'd probably cut its head off. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So there you go. That's your story, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Just go with it. It doesn't have to happen on the podcast. Yeah. But it would be cool. <laughs> um, so obviously you had a good time. I had a great time. And so, but leading up to it, I had, what was I doing? I was, I was, we went to Jason's. Uh, house for the love meeting. Oh yeah, and, and yeah. a couple weeks. Earlier. I was just geeking out on his awesome. Like he just uses all these classic Finn pieces. Like you, you, I look at his stuff and I'm like, I've got like that. I have that thing in a bin. I could make that ship, you know. 
And I was tweaking and tweaking and tweaking some stuff, and this is leading up to Brick Soleil, and I realized I can't make any ships for this. I'm going to take too long. I need to, I need to rethink, you know, and I thought real estate. So for in April, I built, I, I have, it's a long story, but I have a whole bunch of pink Lego that doesn't belong to me, but people who own it don't <laughs> care. <laughs> lots and lots of pink Lego. Oh, like, welcome to Los Angeles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so well, in April, I built this great big pink octopus, and I put a guy in a bed in the mouth of the you know, with teeth. And it won. It won best art last year. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a, a stellar, my, a stellar photo of you posing next to it. I, I'm gonna post this stuff. So here's the trophy I got last year. It's a Moai head. That's nice. Made by Chris. Uh, White. You're gonna post. You're gonna post your glamour shot. Yeah, I'm gonna. Post okay. It. So there'll be a link below <laughs> to Jeff's amazing glamour shot, which is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. It is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, um, so that night I handed the trophy to my wife. She was, let me see your trophy. And I went like, here it is. And smash all over the floor. So okay, nice. I, I, nice. I rebuilt it. Though. It was okay. oh, of course. It's, sure. it's Lego. It's what you do. Yeah. That's, which is nice. <laughs> I, I, so, uh, quick aside. So uh, my wife has, uh, some like old ex roommate, girlfriend, bridesmaid, you know, friends. Um, and one of them is very artistic, this chick deaf. And she came over to our house I don't know, four or five years ago, and she was like looking at all this Lego bullshit that I have everywhere, and you know, spaceships and stuff. And she was like, "Which one would you be the most sad about if it fell and like broke into a million pieces?" And I was like, "None of them. It's fine. It's Lego. Yeah, just put the shit back together." Fuck it. And she was like, "Wow." And I was like, "That's right." <laughs> uh, so, anyway, sorry to fucking detract from your story. I like there, that was, that was a good aside. Yes. So, what I did was, um, I was like, don't make any spaceships because it'll take too long. You're not going to, just don't do it. Um, <laughs> I, I, as has probably come up before, I work in stop motion. I build sets and props for stop motion. Um, I worked on Robot Chicken, season eight most recently. This is my season seven. Jeff, Jeff is a legitimate, sure. like, better skilled at you model builder in the real world. Like, he gets paid. You're Sweet. straight up. We were talking about this earlier, like... You were straight up a professional. Like, you get cut a check for being like, I built a shark or whatever the fuck. Like every every couple of days I get text messages or like calls from Jeff. He's like, yeah, I'm building this thing and it's <laughs> awesome. And there's a fucking Ninja Turtle pizza thrower. And we're like, whatever the fuck it is. And I'm like, I, I, yeah. Damn. I got to do some Ninja Turtle toys and some, fuck yeah. uh, some other cool 70s. I knew Ninja Turtles was 80s. I know that. Right. But, um I just had a, I had a flash of like, ooh, my NDA. And I wasn't sure if I could say the next thing I was going to say. Yeah, you don't, don't say <laughs> so that. So I didn't say it. Top secret. <laughs> seven Fantastic eight. Anyway. It's the fourth sequel. So supposedly coming. doing what I do, I know the difference between shit you can get done really fast and shit that takes a while. So I, sl- I was like, okay, diorama. Last year I brought a bunch of spaceships. I put them on the black tablecloth. I don't think anybody looked at them. I barely looked at them, right? So I was like, what do you have a lot of? Again, I have a shit ton of pink. Maybe. So I just made five slabs of like... I do, you, it. do you have any of the slabs? No, they pretty much got... No, yeah. They got mulch. Yeah. Well, what happened was I every big-ass brick that I have, every like plate-sized brick, you know... You um, guys can't see, but off over there is like fucking four tubs of just like... <laughs> it's a lot of pink. Giant chunks of yeah. Lego pinkness. Pink. So, I mean, I, it was basically, it was two layers of pink, and it was about, you know, yay wide, and I had these, like, coffin-shaped Tupperware containers, and it was just as long as, it was like 38 inches, so I made five of those, and I brought a whole bunch of pink support brick, and and then I just parked my, my racers. Now, my deal with, I don't know what to call these things, space racers, whatever... I mean, everybody was like, oh, pod racers! Star yeah. Wars. Yes. Oh. Yeah. But, well, okay, to be fair, this is <laughs> this is the Screaming Yellow Zonker. And it fills the same sort of cultural niche that a pod racer would in that thing. But my, my deal with pod racers is um, I, I don't like them. You I, hate I, Jake Lloyd? <laughs> I feel bad for Jake Lloyd, but I hate... I do, too. I that hate, is really bad. <laughs> yeah, I hate... Anakin Skywalker. Um, in, as he Shout out to you, Jake Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sure you watch this random show on no, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It really, I just, I really feel for that guy. I mean, yeah. I was, you know, I mean, 
Yeah. You know he looks more like Anakin Skywalker now, though, than he ever did when he was arrested for meth years. <laughs> like, it's like, it's, yeah, all right. it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's unfortunate because it's like, you know, you want, you want Anakin Skywalker to be awesome and the, the prequels are just like, here's everything that's not awesome about being Darth Vader as a small child. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I, sorry, I, 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 I killed the podcast with the no, no, no. Here's the I, I'm, I'm gonna. My two cents is I feel for Jake Lloyd because I was eight, nine when Star Wars came out. When A New, a new Hope, which I never call that, I never called that. So you call it the Star when Wars. I was in <laughs> the Star Wars when I was in, when I was in seventh grade and Jedi wasn't even out yet. The, the people that bullied me would taunt me by going, Star Wars, somebody would yell, hey, Star Wars lover, like, for real, like, end wow. quote, as, you know, oh, when, in, in the hallway. Like, I wouldn't even know who it was all the time. So I get Jake Lloyd's pain. It's a, it's it's harsh. Um, anyway, but... Dude, like, what's so ridiculous about that? It's like, do you feel like you have revenge right now? Where you're like, look at all these hot yeah. cosplay girls dressed up as Leia, and, like, yeah. Star Wars is the biggest movie on the planet, and... Yeah, or, or do you just feel like fuck everything? Like this, you you turn my cool shit into mainstream. No, I don't have hey, a problem with, a with cool shit in mainstream. That's okay. That's I, good. I, like I, 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 I have this weird unformed theory that all art is basically on the same hierarchy. I'm not sure if higher art and low art is a thing. I, whatever. I'm, oh, not, I'm. You had a story about. That. I'm not. I'm not going there right now. I'm not because I don't want to veer off too crazy. Um, you know, there's no plan for this, right? Like I people know, just watch us talk. But I wanted to bitch about pod racers. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's bring it full circle. So right, this right. is pod racing. Yeah. So. Pod racers, right? Okay, um, I'm not going to go into a big episode one rant, but um, I, I didn't like that movie. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the fact that they're held together by cables and lightning. That, that bums me out. And Stack when, electricity. Yeah, and when you're watching the pod race in the movie, and, and like the, the, the two engines in the front are going like, and the guy in the back is like, a little bit like, but delayed because he's not the same object as that. I hate it. I don't know. It just viscerally doesn't work for me. But I loved mm -hmm. the stock car race yeah, notion yeah, in the Star yeah. Wars universe. So I loved all the colors. Well, like, and it's I, the dirty street racing. It's the Fast and the Furious yeah, in yeah, the yeah. fucking Star Wars no. universe. And is pod racing. I played um, like Pod Racers Revenge, I think, on the PS2 when I was Jesus at my sister's Christ. house over Christmas. Oh. There's, right? there's a second one. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, but, but as None we, of that's canon anymore, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But I got into the designs, you know, of the, yeah. of the, of the engines. Dude, I and... fucking love the pod racer. <laughs> I understand your bullshit about, like, yeah. dude, it's retarded. It's held together by static electricity right. and cat fur and stuff. And like, <laughs> yeah. But I love the colors. And I love... Yeah. Yeah. And this, I mean, look at this guy. is basically on the same principle. There's two engines in the front. They're low and they're wide. You know, and, but, the, but the whole thing banks is one thing, and that's how I like it. So, you know, props to Lucas, because, yeah, I did boost part of your thing for my thing. Yeah, but, like, everybody's done that since 1970. Yeah. yeah but, seven or whatever the fuck it is. Well, but, I mean, I bitch a lot about that movie. Um, <laughs> anyway, You're a nerd. I, yes. Yeah, yeah. As we all yeah, are. Right, right, right. Fellow so, nerds watching other nerds on the right. internet. Yes. <laughs> right, again. Cheers to you guys. Yeah, Cheers, guys. I my drinking, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Hey. Dude, there's, there, there's levels to this Perhaps shit. Perhaps you should be. There if you're you watching Phantom Menace, you should be drinking. Mm. <laughs> At least. Definitely. Definitely. So, oh, so, okay. I, so I have like a dozen of these. And... Oh, you get a um, bunch of them. And I was like, all right, I just, I'll take this pink crap that I have, and I'll stick some of the plants, some of which are left over from Space Nom, True. on top of True. them. And we, we, we literally had a text conversation at 1 in the morning, the night before con, of like, hey, do you have any of the Space Nom plants yeah, left? Yeah. And I was like, no, not all, bro. And then I found like these <laughs> fucking gallon Ziploc bag of all the Space Nom yeah. plants, and I was like, I got you. It's all well, good. I hadn't gotten, Zach, woo, Zach, your package totally came um but it, it hadn't by the when i sent that text uh and then i i just took some I, I took some clear bricks and i took a whole bunch of hinge pieces and i parked all of my freaking racers that i've had for years on top of this this pink bullshit and it turned a corner and when i got there i didn't realize like that the setup table that i had actually there was this big chunk taken out of the corner, so it, oh, yeah. the only way I could maneuver, 
around oh. the corner was actually overhang the table. And I had all this pink brick with me to like support oh, brick, basically. So I just like, fuck it. And I just built a whole bunch of shit on the underneath the like. Yeah. Like, I knew that was going to be there. Which I, didn't, I, didn't <laughs> I felt like that was actually <laughs> what, what made your sort of like the turn yeah, the really turn, cool yeah. was because yeah. it, it broke not only like the plane. So like I've been having conversations with an A-fold who won't be named about the grid versus not grid. Okay. Like does, does building a Lego diorama or a big scene lend itself to building in a grid or do you necessarily have to break the grid? And like, I feel like for organic things, you can break the grid. I think it's, you, that's my you can, short message. And when you when you do it, and if you do it well, it it implies so much more. So like, you literally have like I don't know what like not much of an overhang. Oh no, no like no, no, no. five inches. But that five inch little dip that came down around the corner, yeah. like fucking elevate your entire display. Like, all of a sudden, it was like, all by whoa, it goes up and down? <laughs> not just on top of a table? Right. Like, right. Especially the, it was pretty good. The it was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. And leading up to it, I suddenly became very excited for all my racers because they'd never been displayed. And let's, like let's not be coy about this. So, like, you, you won a trophy. I did. Not for that. I won for something else. But I... I felt like you uh-huh. were going to win for that. Like, I had my money on you the whole time. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a little... I, I, I don't know. It, it's, it really stood out because it looked like one giant thing. I mean, it was, I think, about, about 60 You also feet. You also oh. have no idea about, like, when you have to run the, like, 20 table setup and you have to set aside, like, a gigantic... <laughs> 25% of the display where you go, this quarter is Jeff's. Don't put your bullshit on there. You're a giant dick. And you just rolled up and you're like, oh, here you go. Here's my corner. Um, I, I, I delivered. Which, it was good that dude, I didn't show with, up and you're like, yeah. oh, I just brought a loot. No, I knew you were going to. Like, that was, okay, I, like, fuck it, dude. So, not to rehash the, like, I hate responsibility thing, <laughs> but, dude, like, fucking planning this shit and like tetrising this shit at the last moment like mm-hmm. i knew i knew i had you and dan those were the only two i was like fuck star wars dude he's got his own island neil's got his own island all these other kids are gonna show up whatever like we'll fucking move it around and like steven fucking <coughs> shout out to you, steven. yeah steven um steven fucking just like had his own section which was great but i was like Man, I gotta fucking preserve this. And people would show up, and I was like, "Yeah, I got a dude showing up with sixteen feet of diorama." And they're like, "Oh," and I'm like, "Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of the way. It's adult shit over here." I had, to, I had to push that kid over. Actually, yeah, you were just you were doing one of the things where you just hold them by the forehead and they're swinging at you. Not a little. No, his 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 mock is his cool ass. Oh, scaled up. I mean, it was it was it was a good thing. It was Dude, like, did you? Does anybody know who that kid is? I, Oh, I'm bad at responsibility. I'm supposed to know who that kid is, and I can literally <laughs> grab my phone and look it up. Um, but shout out to you, random seventeen-year-old, um, spacing on the name of him, who he revised yeah. Neo Rock Raiders. Mm-hmm. Who does that? Bam! It was and it was fucking gorgeous. Great. It was so nice, dude. The back of that, like, I'm sorry if I fucked with your model and you didn't want me oh, to touch I, it. I totally. I opened model. the back of his shit up. Like it has a double hinge ramp with fucking flags that all go down and it's all like so the Rock Raiders you know how Rock Raiders has that like it's a crazy color scheme and everything has the caution stripes like Mm -hmm, he had mm -hmm. caution stripes galore it was fucking awesome basically what he did he took the big the biggest vehicle from the Rock Raiders line and scaled it up yeah and it was great and he he um instantly recognizable he took the prefab like brown windshield piece yeah and did it in plate that was all angled, it so was, it was like three yeah. or four times the size. Oh, Shout it was out fucking to great. you, dude. I'm very yeah. interesting We're stuff. bad at the research <laughs> part of this. Terrible. Um, yeah. I just forgot. Just like, Google Bricks LA Rock Raiders. No, no. Probably was, nothing will come up. There was something going on at the team speed bill. It was like, Ace was like, it's everybody versus the Plant Brothers, because it wasn't just Rock Raider guy, it was his brother. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. And I should last know thing, your dude's bleep. names. Right, sorry, um, dude. I think your dad was there too. I'm, I'm so bad at this shit. Anyway, moving on. Okay, fucking Rock Raiders is rad. So you had your yeah. giant. You so had you I, had your I, giant I, fucking I had to push pod race thing. Yeah, I had that. 
Um, what else? You I hate mean? pod racers. I hate pod racers. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> like you hate Star Wars. Okay. You hate Jake Lloyd. No. You also <laughs> had some other shit, which maybe Ooh. may or not have been award winning. Uh, which no, it was award winning. That's right. Yes. Um, <laughs> there you go. So I had. I'm when, glad we clarified that. Right. So at Bricks LA, when uh, we we came back here, I forget which night it was, but we, like we were like shagged. We were here in this room, and and, and you and Zach and Brent, especially Zach. Dude, it was Saturday. Was that was that yeah. the nostalgia? Like, yeah. Catalog Zach, night? Zach and Mara were both kind of like. Ugh. We went. We went into straight up like nine year old sleepover mode. Where everybody took a Lego catalog, like right. laid down, and showed these catalogs to each other. At that one, but that like that woke us ever, that woke everybody back up. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh well, it was it was pretty great. But at some point, um, I had I was moving shit around, and there was a bin uh, full of uh, this old scale, uh, old school um, window. And I, and I said, oh, yeah, I've been accumulating these. I think maybe they should go into the side of a big rolling yellow triceratops. And you guys all were like, okay. Um, <laughs> no. I, one or Six months later, Jeff's like, remember that time I said this? <laughs> Nobody remembers this. <laughs> no, nobody did. But I and then he was I like, did. I delivered. Um, Bam. Yeah. I know this really <laughs> big. Bam. Let's see. It's, oh, it's it's savage. It's huge. savage. Yeah. So this is um, Big Bad Basil. Um, and he started with these red windows. He's amazing. And I, I, I made the midsection first, and then I made the tail. Um, and they always say that, like, you know, art says something. And what the tail says is, I ran out of slopes. <laughs> I ran out of yellow slopes. So I had to go with this. Fin thing, but looking at Dude, it, all, it's it's perfect. It's very spacey. It gives it. It's good. I it like gives this it more of a spacey. I like the back deck yeah, too. Yeah, but I, I might want to raise the deck up, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. But then I made the head, and the head came out. Like you, you I was, I'm really like pleased with the head, and I wasn't even sure yeah. going as I went forward. I didn't even know which canopy I was going to use. Was I going to use two things to make two eyes or what? You know, I just I, I just was freestyling because. Because Brooks LA was the first fucking well, weekend of the year, and it was and like you're building like a Christmas. dinosaur. And, yeah, <laughs> actually, windows. Like, I think I did this in less than a week, though. Oh um, yeah, dude, dude, it came out of nowhere. Like, yeah, all of us were like, "What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> How did this um, happen?" So anyway, in uh, in the theme of as as Andrew mentioned last cast, you know, like finding shit under your couch, or as I did, you know, my my display shelves, which actually are a little bit off screen right now. Um, and just building something to stack all that old stuff on, I put Big Bad Basil on the rug, on, on the tablecloth, rather, and then a whole bunch of these guys. Okay, that's a Killer Croc minifig. When it wasn't horribly, insanely in expensive to buy Killer Croc minifigs, I got, like, eight of them. Um, and I've been slowly yeah. building up a futuristic motorcycle gang. <laughs> So when I was building this thing and my kid was like, Daddy, who's going to drive it? Eventually I put one of the Crocs. That's, the, you know, that's what they call themselves. And, uh, here's, the, and here's, here's, this is the first one I made. This one's called Heavy Industry. It's got three wheels, kind of like in line. And yeah, tough Dope. stuff. Dope. Bionicle parts and whatever. Um, and these are, these are quote unquote, the kings of the road? Kings of the road, mistaken. yeah. Right. The, the larger story that I had was that and, and th th there's a um, there's an ordinance passed, and it says, "Hey, all you various communities that have in, in your impound lots, you know, old supervillain vehicles, because like these supervillains got defeated, and then like their giant <laughs> cars or whatever got stuck in your impound lots, and it's expensive. You know, you're going to be able to sell those back to the community. So the idea was that like that back terrace was. I actually when I was posing a minifigure on it just for scale and stuff, I had a waiter." on that back terrace, you know, and I was thinking I'd put some tables there and it doesn't have an interior right now, but you know, maybe, maybe it'll be in the post supervillain mode and it'll be a, a rolling restaurant. Yeah, a, a reefer, a reefer. Or I was, the, the whole thing was, I, I was thinking I was going to make a couple more. So it was going to be like that, you know, that one. I'm really like all about like you turn anything into a bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything should be a bar yeah, right? yeah, at yeah. one point. Like, so, um, but then I just, I finished the triceratops and I was like, I got to make some fucking pink landscape. Because it's <laughs> Monday. that's what you do. Yeah. yeah. That's what you do. Um, but yeah. I won second prize this Which is year. an awesome trophy. Yeah, this trophy. Another Chris White. There's a dong. 
Yep. Yeah. Or, or is it a patch of pubic hair? We're not really uh, sure. It knows? could be either. It's the He's not a well-endowed dude. No. Well, all those all those <laughs> Renaissance statues are... Small penis. There's, yeah, small yeah, penis. Pretty flaccid, it's weird. too. It's weird. Yeah, yeah it's small, weird. flaccid penis. Like, yeah. dude, if, I, if somebody's sculpting me in marble, you know, it's just going to be like baby arm. <laughs> Bam. There it is. Uh, anyway, David so, is pretty ripped, though. He yeah. is, he yeah. is. And, uh, you know, different cultures, different times, whatever. So, uh, so far, so that means I've trophied twice in the same category. Yeah, at nice. Brooks, LA. Two for two, that's, yeah, Bravo. not oh. good. I also co-trophied... Um, oh, that's right. ...with uh, <clears throat> Peter, whose last name nobody can pronounce even after right after he says it. Nobody, it's, it's spelled A-O-U-N. Just make a noise, like, oh! <laughs> and that's, that's I, basically it. And uh, also Roz in the door. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's um, that's surprisingly his like made up internet handle is way easier to pronounce than his <laughs> real name. Anyway, actually, Pete had a, a bunch of really good builds there. There was a really cool thing in the town castle. It was like this gold dragon. Oh thing. yeah, that thing was yeah. Nice. And this yeah. fish, this bionicle head fish, all out of like glowing glow in the dark blue. Yeah, the the like marble. Yeah, very blue really pieces. Cool. So super cool. Um, but he and I, as it turned out, another like. Oh fuck! I got to do something. It's the last minute thing that I did was I took my mystery machine kit, you know, like the, the set, and I put a great big Hawkins uh, quatrain quart four. I put four <laughs> wheels on it, like most cars have. I was looking for a word that meant four, like pair. An opera, an opera jazz. Okay, there was a Mad Max yeah. dio. Monster Peter, truck. Yeah, Peter Abramson did a Mad Max dio. Shout out to you, Peter. Pete. I didn't do shit for it. So I took my mystery machine, I put some big wheels on it because, you know, it was the wheels I was going to use for the fish car or whatever, the super villain thing that I didn't get to. And some bionicle spikes <laughs> and then like a gun turret that was, um, I had. And uh, he he also made the misery machine for the Mad Max die, which is he actually rebuilt the mystery machine in grays and tans and mm -hmm. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and he strapped, is it, Shaggy to the front of it? Yeah, Shaggy was strapped <laughs> to the front of it. And he had a, he had a skull wearing that cool Space Police helmet, uh, Space Police 3 bad guy helmet that the was spiky spiky one. The, yeah. and the Dark Vader yeah. thing in the front. Um, but he suggested we combine the stuff. that I, We take hit my wheels and my turret and stick it on his stuff. And then we won Most Humorous. Um, Which is a jury category that's like yeah. con-wide. And it's the second... He's also two for two because he's won Most Humorous twice. Now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. You guys are fucking killing it. Yeah. <laughs> so so that was cool too. So shout out to you, Gerasmador. Cheers. Thanks, thanks for that Cheers. off the cuff collab. Um, appreciate it. Speaking of off the cuff collabs, I did uh, last episode talk about the speeder bike Star Wars race. Um, one thing which we like last minute on Sunday incorporated. Oh, was this <laughs> this is well, uh the sandworm from the, the fucking space nom dio in solid. Seattle. Yeah, it's, it's the head. Um, the reason why I bring that up, Jeff, is this happened, and we were gonna tell you about this, and then for whatever reason we didn't. So I'm sitting behind the thing, and I think it was Dan or Stephen or somebody. And this kid comes up, and he's got these, like, punk rock parents, right? Like, okay. dude looks like, been to AA four times. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it, it, like okay. rough, like, Courtney Love, Kurt Cobain, had a child parents. And this kid walks up, and he's looking at all the Star Wars things, and then he sees your worm, and he goes, It's the great devourer! <laughs> and, 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 like, whoever I was with, I was like, oh, my God. It's like the fucking greatest thing I've ever seen. And then they moseyed on to whatever other space display. And I was like, man, i got to tell Jeff there's a name. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. What? That's, yeah. That, that's from Ninjago. Did you know that? I did not know that. Oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, man, I just thought he was metal as fuck. You ruined my story, yeah. dude. <laughs> you knew it, internet, right? This is why you're not <laughs> like, Dude, the Lego cartoons ruin everything. You, should, you don't need context for any of these. Yeah. Just imagine Everything that there's a giant space worm yeah. called the Great Devourer. Uh -huh. it, that is cool, though. It's nice that you heard that out of context. And yeah. I'm reminded of something that happened. But actually, one of my favorite public moments with the con was this little kid, like four. It was, it was either early or late, so there weren't that many people around. But he comes running up to the dio, my dio, the, the spacers one, and um, he's going... Spaceships! 
Mommy, spaceships! And he's running a little ahead of her, so she's kind of in the back being like, you know, Chaz, yeah, yeah. hold on, you know, or whatever. Slow your roll. And um, he's just, he just runs up and he's just like, spaceships, look, Mommy, look at the spaceships. He goes, he looks at me and he goes, I love spaceships. And I gave the dude, I was like, me too, dude, you know? Yeah. And um, and then he runs off to the check out the rest of the space stuff, and his mom goes, yeah, I've got a little Benny. And I was like... Ah, oh, fuck. You just commodified, like, the, I mean, uh, that, is yeah. what Benny, that is Benny, you know, but for her to come at it from that direction to kind of bug me out. Yeah, it's like, mm-hmm. Benny's not for you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so, fucking, this, this is a long one. This is like 45 minutes. If you guys have watched us bullshit on the internet for 45 minutes, number one, thank you. Yep. Yeah, thanks. That's, fucking amazing you could be anywhere right now but you're hanging out in jeff's garage with us um number two we're gonna get out of here soon but uh i feel like do you do you want to talk about it go ahead i don't care i don't give a fuck <laughs> <laughs> jimmy jimmy is thug life so i'm builder yo yo you did the third one i did it what do you think? I told you I was gonna quit. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you're done. You're done. After the third time you do that bullshit, like uh, you're you're fully done. Yeah. Uh, well, what do you think of the part? Let's talk about that first. I was tired of getting minifigs accessories. Come on. Okay. So, uh, it, For those not twice in, the in a know, row, twice in a row. It's a the fencer foil, mm-hmm. the, the sword, the three musketeers yeah, sword. Yeah, musketeers. Um. Yeah. So, so, so twice in a row. I, yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. so many. I, I could see that's from parts. and it's metallic silver, which and is, it's metallic silver, which, which I didn't mind much. It was the actual fact that it's once again an accessory. Yeah, yeah. So I was okay. not too okay. crazy about it, but hey, man, it was not that bad. It was not that bad. Okay, it was just the fact that it was yet another accessory. So I don't, I don't want to drill you too hard, but let me let's just let's just run through the shit. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite build that you built? Probably the voodoo doll. Yeah, it was yeah. my favorite too. <laughs> yeah. They kicked ass. Yeah. Like I would say I would say just you know, this is just my opinion, but that was my favorite build of all of them. Oh yeah, right. Like I felt like it was it was great parts usage, but just the yeah. what you communicated, the, the way <laughs> the way that it said so much without having to say a lot. Like it oh, it was it was fucking killer. Uh, that was straight games. I went, I went, I was like, if I, I if I had been battling you at that point, <laughs> fuck, fuck, that would have that would have straight up like dispirited me. I would have been like, oh shit. And I he mean, was taking a break at that time because he took a bunch of breaks. Yeah, yeah. He was because we we contacted each other, not not like me and you, because it was an, an entire different ball game. But okay, okay. And once in a while, he would be like, ah, I'm taking a break. Like a couple of days. Oh, so he would tell you. Yeah. Oh. But then I was like, I don't know about that. Come strategy. on, man! You started like building almost two builds per day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you guys he came both. He, he came all in. Like, I, yeah, and numbers. that's why I was like, all right. I'll, I'll say this. You want to fuck with me? <laughs> all right. I'll say this. Okay. <laughs> this has been my favorite round. All right. To date, because it was, I felt like it was close. It was like. Every day was something different, mm-hmm. and it was exciting. It was it was, right, cool. Cool, cool. It was yeah. cool. It was cool. It was cool. Like you know. both of you, like I I noticed when he took breaks, but was so great. So I'm like, ah, Jimmy's just killing him, <laughs> and then and then he would come back, and I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, see, that's no, that's that's where I, I kind of get lost in the middle because uh, the first break was okay. I'm like, okay, yeah, he's taking a yeah. break. I'm gonna pound pound hard. I'm gonna go for it. I, okay. I don't want to take breaks. Fuck it. Yeah, I want to yeah. go for it. Uh, I'm all in. Well, you can't. You can't lose momentum either. Yeah, yeah, I feel no, like I, that's kind of I part of like it. That. So I sense. went in. So it was. It was okay. But the second break, I'm like. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want? Are you fucking with me? Like, I don't know. Is yeah. there something? Yeah. Like, you want to like kind of fuck with me? I don't know. I don't care. So I just went. Okay. I was just and I kind of felt. The like n- not the the second half, but like probably the the last third of it, kind of felt like I was doing it alone. Mm. 
Because after I went, I was just building. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. build. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build. Are you, not not did caring you feel, much about what he was. Yeah. Building. Did you feel? Did you feel like less driven because of that? Because uh, like there was nobody fucking jabbing at you. Not less. Yeah. I, I, it would have probably been different if you know he would have stopped taking breaks now and then, <laughs> here and there. Yeah. Yeah. But but probably not that different. I I, I built thirty nine builds. That's so crazy. In 23 That's days. That's so fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, and it was not... Uh, nobody... I didn't want to go, like, I want to be a lot. I just went, like, okay, he started building two fucking builds per day. That's a lot. They, we did once, you, and that was fucking plenty. He pushed, he pushed me, because he was like, yeah. oh, okay, he's he's the heavy... Okay, yeah, I'm going to push him. Okay, oh, yeah, well, push me, and I push you back. So I pushed him back. Fuck but yeah. after a while, he got like... <laughs> I felt like that. It was yeah. like, oh, yeah. I'm tired. So I'm like, come on, man. If you come in, you come all in and, you know. You, yeah, yeah. You, you don't just knock on doors and be like, ah, blah, blah. And then you be like, oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I, out of I here. I could definitely see that. So, I could definitely see that. There you go. But he, he's a very so, nice guy. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What was your favorite build of his? You know what? Unfortunately, I have to say none. It's true. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> it's tough what I'm saying, but it's true. Okay. He had lots of great builds. Definitely, he's a great builder. I yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah, respect yeah, him yeah, a lot. Yeah. But none of them, for me, was... Okay. So you didn't, you didn't have any heart-stopping moments they, where you were like, no, oh, fuck. None. And you know what? What's kind of like the same thing from... Is it, he did a, an X, X-Wing. Tiny one? Yeah, yeah, he did the and then, scale. And then he built the, the, the biggest one. Size. The yeah. floor was fucking crazy. You know, the effect he did? Yeah, I yeah was the like, water. I was the water like, dude, was super the, good. That super was good. fucking crazy. But just the fact that, first I'm like, is that another X-Wing? Yeah, yeah, he I can see that. He the part exactly that. in the same. In this, so, uh, kind of like, threw me away from the great... We're going, we're and going and even the X Wing, clearly. Pretty good. So there you have it. Uh, he did some great, but I was not oomph. Yeah, yeah. None of them oomphed me. Okay, okay. Yeah, there is it. So, <laughs> no, that's fine, dude. Like, one, you do you. There's no fucking pressure or mm-hmm. plan with any of this. We, we did talk about this. I did ask Jimmy if, like, he wanted to talk about this, and he was like, not really, yo. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is actually. kind of a coerced <laughs> confession. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, like, we don't have to go in super detail. <clears throat> Last question. Yeah. Are you happy you don't have to do it again? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. Dude, Damn. it's so savage. It's so savage. Like, doing it three times. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's, it's soul crushing. It's fucking soul crushing. It is. It is. Um, so let's not go out on a shitty note. Um, because soul crushing iron builder bullshit is whack. But mm-hmm. let's talk about spaceships. Yeah. So you built a spaceship. Yeah. Why don't you grab that spaceship? Oh yeah. All right. Well, um, <laughs> dude, this is fucking straight up Scramble City. Shout out to Clutch. There you go. Jimmy built this out of the fucking drunk build miscellaneous bricks that yep. <laughs> Jeff brought. Yep. Um, I'll show a spaceship because I have one. This was in Jeff's. Crazy race. Yeah, it was the best star. So there you go. Um, I think we're going to wrap it up because I think you guys have been watching for like close to an hour, which is fucking wild. Um, Anyway, yeah, fucking thank you guys Um, for watching. Cheers. Thanks for hanging out. I'm excited for 2016. I I got, I think this is going to be a fun year. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. (laughs) Do you guys want to say anything? You want to you talk well, about anything before uh, we go? Anything I, pressing? I bought this shirt off Paul Lee last BrickCon, I think. I don't know if it's his design. There you go. Whatever, but, yeah, it is. You it know, is. I like this shirt. Fucking shout out to you, Paul. Yep. Well, which I didn't get a chance to meet, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Well, I, I stayed... Yeah, you were there. You were there. You were yeah, there. But, in and out. But hopefully um, next time, yeah. I'm I gotta, I gotta say this I'll weird thing. Chance. So, like, Paul's kids... Like, Paul and I have the same last name... So there's yeah. a lot of nonsense about, like, Paul and I are brothers. His kids, this last con, the youngest one, um, Max, I think. I'm, I'm sorry, Paul, I'm fucking a terrible friend, and I don't know your children's <laughs> names. The young one, the youngling, he just runs up to me all day and yells uncle at me, and I'm like, 
who the fuck are you? What is happening? Um, so it's a little weird. So fucking shout out to you, Paul. Good job designing t-shirts. Uh, I guess that's episode 20. The next one. Right on. In the future. Questions. I think that's... It's okay. That's yeah. That's yeah, yeah, the yeah. right. It's okay to not drink There's beer. Question. on the show. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the sneak yeah. preview. There you go. Somebody um, asked about that. Fucking, uh, we're gonna do the old Q and A, Q and beers. You know, Q and B, whatever. No, um, ask me some questions. A bunch of people have already, which is fucking excellent. That yeah. means I don't have to build anything for the next episode. <laughs> Yay. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Yep. Fucking thanks for hanging out with us, internet. We'll see you in the future. Cheers. Peace.